Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to be connecting our Commodore 64's video and audio output to our laptop. As you can remember from our last video we had made a uh, composite uh, video audio cable for our Commodore 64. Now we are going to use this uh, cable and we are going to use an USB adapter for our notebook and we are going to connect video and audio to our laptop. So first let's go ahead and connect our cable to our Commodore 64. Okay. And now I'm going to connect the composite video cable. and also the uh, audio inputs however only one of them uh, was working actually i don't remember which one so i'm going to connect both and then i'm going to connect the adapter to the notebook via usb the software that i'm using for uh, capturing the video and also audio is named uh, dscaler Actually, there are many uh, different software uh, on the internet, however, this one worked for me and uh, it has many options that you can uh, customize. So, let's go to the sources and select SMI grabber device. So, initially it says that failed to change audio input. And there you go, you can see the Commodore 64 basic version 2 and our cursor is blinking and we can write anything we want keyboard is working and it's very responsive so you can see that there's not so much delay in between our cable towards the audio video uh, capture device and our laptop so maybe we can continue and uh, give an introduction for the Commodore 64 basic. Okay, we'll be having a very short presentation for this introduction tutorial. So let's go ahead. We will be seeing the print statement in Commodore basic and we will be performing some arithmetic operations and we will be printing the outcome of them. So this is going to be a bit different than the traditional introduction most of the time in programming language tutorial we have the print hello world statement but in this one we are going to do print Commodore 64 actually I'm following the user's guide for Commodore 64 that came with the device itself so you can search for it in the internet and you can download it there are some PDFs or you can purchase a used one let's go ahead and write our first statement printing Commodore 64 Okay, in our first statement, we are going to write print space in quotation marks Commodore 64 and we press on return. It gives us back the Commodore 64. Let's go ahead and write the second statement, print 32 plus 32. sorry print 32 plus 32 so as you can see it does the arithmetic operation and gives us the statement actually as you can see it's much simpler if you compare it with today's programming languages like Python while printing you have to convert the integer to the string and then print it out but as you can see in Commodore Basic, it's much more simpler. So let's go ahead and uh, try the next statement. Okay, in this statement, we are going to write again Commodore 64. However, we are going to first write the string Commodore and then add the result of the operation 32 times 2. 
So let's see how it goes. Sorry, I had print. And we write Commodore. Close the quotation marks. We use a semicolon. Oops, sorry. And then we write 32 times 2. Okay. As you can see, we again have Commodore 64. But now we have written first the string Commodore. And then we have printed out the result of the operation 32 times 2. And a very quick information, we have an abbreviation for print and that is the question mark. So let's try it. Question mark, quotation marks, Commodore 64. And there you go. It gave us the output Commodore 64. And let's do some arithmetic operations. We can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division by these operators. So let's go ahead and write these down. Instead of writing print, let's use the question mark once again. And let's try something different. So we are expecting a negative result. So as you can see, it's minus 39. Let's again, 4 times 16. It's again 64. So we've given a very short introduction to Commodore Basic and we learned how to connect our Commodore 64 to our laptop via an audio video grabber device and software for sure. And we've seen how to use the print statement and we've done some arithmetic operations. So in our next tutorial, we are going to see how to create simple basic programs. Thank you for watching.